Welcome to the Straight Out of Home Video Podcast, part of the Geeky Waffle Network. This week's movie is Mighty Ducks, the movie, the first face-off. I'm Candace, and with me today is Brie. Hello. Vanessa. Hey. And our special guest, Danny Tamborelli. Hey, Danny. Hey, how you doing? Well, better if I didn't see this movie. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can we even can we even call it a movie though? Well, yeah, I don't know if you can. It came out as, as a, movie. a movie, so technically. Which which kind of which is astounding to me. <laughs> when you can put three little generic sentences in front of three different sections of a movie that you want to make into a TV show, that's all you have to do. That's it. Uh, apparently, this is so. This is the this is actually the lesson we've learned from watching this. Yes, and watching a lot of other ones too. Yeah, they did so, this with gargoyles. What else did they do this with? So many. The Tarzan and Jane. We haven't watched that one yet. I feel like it's going to be a bunch of things out. We're going to watch the Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> oh gosh! It's okay. like they thought this is good enough. Let's sell it. So, so Danny, you were in the original Mighty Ducks. How does this compare? Oh, <laughs> I mean, you know, stupid people would say 360, but everybody knows that that's wrong because it means it would be the same thing. I would I would defer to half of that and say it's a complete 180. <laughs> the movie that I was in. Yeah, did you know this existed? No, I had no idea that this existed. <laughs> yeah, cuz we were looking at the list and Bray's like, oh, I could ask Danny about this. And I'm like, I don't think you guys think this is the same thing. I didn't know what it was. I had no idea. I was just like, oh, it maybe it was like a, a prequel. Well, yeah, because like, you know, know, Mighty Ducks is, is so iconic. And, you know, as children of the 90s, we, you know, we've always loved that. So hearing Mighty Ducks, I was like, oh, my gosh, I didn't know that there was this other thing. And so I was very excited to watch it. But okay, um, people. Um, well, once the once the theme music came in and you saw what was happening, I was immediately like, what the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> the theme music <laughs> is performed by Mickey Thomas of Jefferson's Starship fame. Wow. Oh, really? 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 Yeah. <laughs> Wait, huh. I, can, I can add to that tidbit of information or whatever the hell that is. Uh, he went, his kids went to Universal once while we were shooting a Nickelodeon show and I got to meet him and he signed my bass. It's all connected. That's pretty dope. It's all connected. So my whole brain is like getting messed up right now. I believe that. <laughs> all the connection. It is. Can I it's tell like you, you think about it, you're like, we built this city. Yep. We built this city on rocking. And he's like, you know what? I can do that same thing. And I could just throw, say, go ducks and score. And yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. You and know, yeah. now, now that I, now that I know that, that makes total sense. <laughs> right. Seriously. Guys, I used to like this show as a kid. I'll admit to it. And I'm really glad that I watched it and realized this wasn't some kind of childhood fever dream. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I feel like you're the only kid who ever watched it, Candace. My little sister did too. So So that's two of us. Two Two. people. All right. Two people. two. how How did you watch it back in the day? Was it on Disney Channel? Disney Afternoons. Ah. Which were my jam back in the day. Well, did you did you own the movie version of this? I think I did. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Can't be sorry about that. I mean, I was in two Disney movies in my life, but I was also a Nickelodeon kid. So I would missed all the Disney Channel stuff because we were like, F the rat, man. We're <laughs> Nick kids. Like, we never listen. Like, Wizards of Waverly, what? Like, get out of here. Like, we, we're in it. we weren't involved. Did you have uh, to hide the fact that you... you <laughs> <laughs> worked with Disney or <laughs> no I mean it was, you know, it's like one of those it's one of those things it's like oh you like you know first you uh, you worked for Ticketmaster and then you worked for Ticketron and then you're like oh yeah well I did this it's like oh you can do it once you can't you can't flip right <laughs> so I went I went Nickelodeon in the beginning and I did a movie or two movies for Disney and then I came back to TV and I was a TV kid so it was like oh it doesn't count it doesn't count <laughs> <laughs> okay so what we usually have Brie do is give a little summary oh my. of what we watched Brie 
<laughs> Can you try? I looked for cliff notes on the internet. I can't, couldn't find any. So Brie, go, uh, well, this will be from my this memory. Must be real, this must be real research. No, um, this is just from my soul. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> Mighty Ducks, uh, the face off movie is about, oh, oh the team my, of this is, ducks. well, yes. Um, so it's about a coach um, recalling how he found the Mighty Ducks. He's a manager. A manager, not a coach. Sorry, uh, a manager who's obsessed with the money. <laughs> You're doing, You're doing money. great. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. I, I, I have encouragement from my co-hosts. It's it's fabulous. Um, so <laughs> a manager who's obsessed with making money, uh, profiting off of the alien ducks that he found, is recalling the story to a um, police bureau. A guy. You call, him a, you can call him a private dick. Private okay. dick. There you go. I like <laughs> <laughs> private dick, Danny. That's great. Um, and then he tells the world um, that they come from another universe in the world called Puck World. Um, yes. Yes, Puck World. And it's a, it's a whole universe planet dedicated to ducks who play hockey. And they have a mortal enemy, which is a dragon slash dinosaur villain. One Apprentice. of them looks like Skeletor. The other one is voiced by Tim Curry. He's the only plus about this movie. And they want to destroy <laughs> the mighty or the ducks in general, because there's no mighty ducks yet. They just right, wanted to because dis- the manager coined that f-ing phrase. Yeah, definitely. Well, Good he job, wanted dude. to make he wanted a Jim copyright. Belushi. Yes, yeah. to make money. Yeah. And then I don't know, something happens. Puck world, Puck world gets destroyed by <laughs> by some <laughs> robots. Like well, yeah. Well, I don't know how he got the ra- robots and technology. It, w- one guy is holding a staff with a skull duck mask on it it's yeah, the, it, mask, he, the mask is very important it is and um, his name is have... Raph, and he's played by tony j who yep. was frollo and hunchback of notre dame everything <laughs> connects um <laughs> everything connects and they Fancy have dark Brown magic but one. draconis is like no i want to use technology and then in the midst of their home planet being destroyed a team of ducks form and they go off to find Draconis because he's like piecing out of the galaxy. God. And then they end up in Anaheim. They end up in Anaheim, Walt <laughs> Disney's fever dream of a place. Exactly. I loved it there so much. Loved just, it there. Can we just remember that this is also the same company that brought us Fantasia? I know. This is... And they had to go with a guy who looks like a dragon and they call him Dragonis. Like, I, what the uh, f- don't know and then um lo and behold the mighty frogs <laughs> hockey team of anaheim pieced out to new jersey and um yeah, you know what and that that hits home for me because i grew up in jersey and i was like oh i moved to piscataway i'm like oh that's for fucking ruckers <laughs> you ended up with the frogs danny you ended uh, up with the frogs the mighty frogs which w- w- who knows if they're the mighty frogs i anymore. don't know anymore uh, and then the manager is like, hey, ducks who can talk gold, um, which I don't know why he wasn't more weirded out by ducks who can talk who are very muscular. I mean, he, he, okay. was, he was initially, but then yeah, he but was then like, he wait. he saw money. Yeah. How this can is, they come from another universe but speak perfect English? I don't. I don't. Okay, also yeah, play, there are many also questions. Play ho- like a, a whole, no, well, a whole civilization hold, that revolves around hockey. What came hockey. first, hockey or or the Ducks? Either way, it's called Puck World. Well, okay, I don't know why they're not penguins. It would make sense for a world full of penguins to know Wait, hockey, but why? they're ducks just because of ice. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Look, I grew okay. up. I grew up in Jersey, and I played pond hockey, and there were plenty of ducks trying to get in the water, and it was ice. They were okay. very upset. They were pissed. They well, you were hockey. taking their universal uh, uh, sport, guys. Okay, I can tell you why. As the expert of this TV show, <laughs> <laughs> they come from an alternate universe. Uh, so, so it's, it's not, not really their own universe it's an yeah they're skipping dimensions okay yeah i get that but you weren't even watching no 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 i get no i understand that still all of these i did not all these questions are just another universe way over my head i was like oh this is another planet thank you okay at least i kept seeing i kept seeing this whole thing as like this is the reason why disney bought the rights to Star Wars is because they made a Mighty Ducks version of it first. <laughs> and they were like, we need to expand on this idea without steal. Ah, f- 
take it. We'll steal it. Let's yeah. just take it. Oh, well, also, like, the one is, one of the dragons, no, or the ducks, I can't remember, had, like, a light-up lightsaber sword. That was Duke L- Orange. Duke he was Orange. A thie- <laughs> he was a thief, and he's an older guy, but yes. he's, he's, he's a jewelry turned around. Thief duck. That's right. Played by Jeff Bennett. Who oh, has been in multiple right. yes. things that we have covered, including Gargoyles. <laughs> he played Brooklyn. And then he was the frat guy in the Extremely Goofy movie. Oh, my gosh. But guys, okay. Oh, 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 oh gosh. <laughs> guys, let's go back to Lucasfilm. What was Lucasfilm's next movie after the first Star Wars trilogy? Howard Mighty the Duck. Ducks. Oh. Howard, <laughs> the, oh, <sorry>. Howard <laughs> the Duck. It's all connected. Oh, Wait, God. he did Howard the Duck. That's like one of the only other movies he's directed. Oh, no. No wonder. It was the only time where he thought it was okay for ducks to smoke cigars. <laughs> and smush women. Oh, And gosh. smush women. Jeez Louise. I mean, even though... Okay, so even though it is... Uh, <laughs> But this is like we're changing the stuff. No, <laughs> no, because I, I I keep forgetting the 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 alternate universe. Even if though it's an alternate universe, all of these questions are still valid. valid. How do they know English? How some, is hockey a thing? Some damn Canadian got sucked into an alternate universe <laughs> and taught them how to play hockey, and they thought it was some really cool duck guy, but he was just on a mission to, you know. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, we're just going to go up here and we're going to teach all these guys how to play hockey. <laughs> because hockey brings people and ducks together. You know what? That is that is just a val- as valid a theory as probably any that we could think of. I, <laughs> let's we'll, do send you, like, we'll send you a bill. <laughs> yeah, Disney, we got a new war for you. Uh, and we're going to get rich. <laughs> Oh, can okay. Let's talk about some of these characters. So the main character is Wild Wing, and Wild did you guys Wing. recognize that voice? No. Nope. Did I recognize the voice? <laughs> no, um, I don't. I think I was focused on his human hands more so than. It's Ian Zuring. <laughs> oh gosh, from nine hundred two one zero. Yes, and Sharknado. Oh, and Sharknado. Sharknado. Main part that I remembered from my childhood of this. Is when his friend Canard Thunderbeak. <laughs> okay, so his mom like, gave his mom gave him that nickname. <laughs> I don't want to know. He's voiced by Townsend Coleman, who was Michelangelo in the eighties TMNT. Oh, Mutant that was Ninja such Turtles. a good show. So I just remember they're like, "We need matter because we're stuck in a wormhole or something to get us unstuck." And like Canard's like, "Well, I'm gonna just go jump out of this ship." And I'm like, there's nothing else you guys could throw. No, apparently not. You and- have to be a certain kind of someone to just sacrifice yourself like that. And Canard, like, not Canard, even Canard was a good man. A duck. A good duck. A good, good duck. duck. I think a good male back. duck. <laughs> he probably still also had one of those screw top penises. Ooh, oh, no. oh, wow. That's I did not consider that. That's horrifying. It is very horrifying. Humanoid ducks about. with... The yeah, who, know, who knows? Yeah, who knows? Oh, no. no. Yeah, nobody knows, but it, somebody knows. Somebody knows. <laughs> yeah. The there's animators a, or the creators, a, one of them. One of them knows because one of them made some naughty drawings and sent it to their friends. Well, with all these puns in the show. <laughs> oh. Yes, there are too many puns. Cooking duck, peeking duck. I don't know. They're, Everything. They're, the, well, one of the, the first name, lines. Duck Lorange. Like, yeah. Yeah, Duck Lorange. Right. One, one of, of the, the first lines Lorange. that like the dragon or dinosaur say, there's like, I can remember when ducks were a meal. I was like, what is going on? So Here when- comes my fireball, ready for some crispy duck. <laughs> also, the one minion that changes, like, it transforms. He was doing all these kind of references, like oh, an the chameleon old, guy? Maker accent, and I'm like, how do you know that? Turn to the Marx Brothers. I was like, what is going on? And they didn't use him uh, nearly enough. If he's a shapeshifter, he could have he could have done stuff, you know? Yeah, like, I thought he was going to be like a duck, like an infiltrate, but instead they got the sexy duck to infiltrate. Okay, so oh, yeah, the sexy let's duck. Let's go. Okay. So this is a two-parter of the pilot. And then the third episode. The two together were the pilot, right? Because it yeah. ends with him, like, the the agent telling every everybody's information. They get a little upset. 
but the police officer who's eating the whole time does he's eating donuts he's eating hot dogs he's eating hot dogs dipped in donuts he's doing everything <laughs> i thought he was going to be like a, a he looks like a bank robber yeah it almost is it's like the bugs bunny like yeah shane he, yeah er, he's the only one who's concerned about alien ducks the only one but he's only concerned if it if it makes logical sense and because it doesn't he's like this fat man's crazy. He's just in it for the money. <laughs> well, he is. The, the, the money thing is not wrong. Trait. He has one trait. He just wants to be rich. So yeah, this It's a stereotype or, that all all agents have to deal with. Right. They all just want the money. Well, like and that's kind of what this this whole show movie whatever seemed to uh <laughs> be born of is probably just we need to make we could totally capitalize on this. My my whole thing though, it, when they land in Anaheim, their first thought is, "Let's go play hockey." No, their first thought is, "I hope th- I, I like this place better have hockey." Well, yeah, and then they're like, <laughs> "Let's go find hockey." It's and- such a it's such a minor thing in this whole. It's like the Mighty Ducks. Everybody thinks hockey, and the opening sequence of each episode is like, "Oh, hockey. scoring goals, hockey, hockey, hockey." And it is like five percent hockey and like ninety five percent sci fi duck. Right. Like, <laughs> well, that's vigil- why that's, vigilantes yes. doing stuff. Yeah. yeah. So they they're trying to fight crime, and they say like, "Oh, I hope they have hockey because we got to keep our skills up." Yeah. It's like, how does hockey skills <laughs> translate to crime fighting skills? Danny, doesn't, you have to. It does. You have to have some hockey it skills. <laughs> Look. I played but, hockey for my high school my freshman year, and the year before they. Uh, they banned cross checking because someone had uh, mono and didn't know it and got cross checked and their spleen is I don't Ooh. know what is it what does it happen whatever happens when you have mono something's enlarged and it and it exploded the organ and the kid died dear what? God it's true so I'm coming from a place where you couldn't do anything super violent so it, it makes no sense to me is what I'm saying oh I thought you gosh. were gonna say that they stopped you doing that because they were too bit. Too worried about kids fighting crime on the side. Yes. <laughs> no, no, oh no. We still, we still manage to do uh, hockey goon stuff. Like the big defenseman, his name was Brian Thalman, and it looked like Tallman. And uh, we also had a guy named George Romeo on the team, and his last name looks suspiciously like Romeo. So another team can see that and go, "Hey, Romeo, where's Juliet?" And then a bunch of Jersey guys go, "What the?" F-? And we start fighting. Oh. <laughs> Um, yep, and I got how- up, and I got up on the Brian Thalman on his shoulders, and I had a hockey stick, and I was whacking people. That's hilarious. <laughs> that didn't happen in the movie because it was after the movie. But I'm just saying that's where my head is at with the hockey stuff. I was like, oh yeah, it's all about brawling, so I get it. I, I'm bit. surprised because with this movie or a show, movie show, I'm surprised <laughs> that they didn't turn you guys like from the movie into ducks. <laughs> well, I, that I mean, been. I wouldn't have been any of the. I I wouldn't have been in the top six. <laughs> they would have had to have. They would have had to show like the the bench. If they showed the <laughs> the Mighty Ducks showed the bench. Maybe I would have been there and been like, oh, they call him the Jet because he's the fastest from the blue lines. But don't hit, don't let him get hit because he's a little pussy. I don't know. <laughs> it's just so insane. This has absolutely nothing to do with the original. Actually. Tim Curry, when he was approached for the role, he thought he was being offered a movie role <laughs> to one of the sequels. Uh, well, I mean, he, it's not to- not totally wrong, but I mean, I, he would have been he he would have been a good character in in any. I mean, I, absolutely. To be, honest, to be honest, I was only in the first one, so I only watched the first one. Never saw the second or third one. So <laughs> those other ones. <laughs> well, it's it, and it's so yeah, it, it's so ridiculous that I I almost feel that. This was a, a storyline or, or um, idea for something else completely. And just because the Mighty Ducks at that point, you know, was, was just like a popular thing. Existed. They're like, hmm, oh. maybe we can merge the two. And so they no. just had to throw in all of this hockey it's stuff. Very, yeah, it's very weird. And like the mask thing and like, like I had my, my son's bedroom. He has a little like miniature wild wing duck which is like because he's like the goalie mascot and he's got the cool you know cartoon 
mask and all that. And he's got it looks like a troll doll. He's got like spiky hair and stuff. And he just he sits on my son's. <laughs> he just sits on my son's desk who babbles at him, you know, when he doesn't want to go to sleep. He's like, blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh, he's talking. That's cool. <laughs> They're talking to each other, hanging out. But I never understood. I always thought they just didn't want to use the original logo because it was too, like, minor league mm. looking. And then the second and third one, they, like, made this, like, cool kind of the mask or whatever with the beak and all that. And then, and then the, <laughs> then you had the team. Well, really, I think what happened with the first movie came out and then the team happened and the second and third movie came out. I think I'm not positive, but I think that's how it went. Yeah. This whole TV show is because Disney bought the Anaheim team and called it mighty ducks. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And it was a legit tie in. And they wanted everyone to go there. They're like, Hey, Oh, if you just been to Disneyland, shit, go across the street, go play some <laughs> hockey. Yeah, and Wildwing is the name of the Ian's character, and they right. call it the He's, pond. It, it, yeah, the there. pond, all that stuff is there, and they still call it that all these years later. And that that little toy I got last year because I went to a, I did like a Mighty Ducks thing at the stadium, and they're giving us some free stuff. So I got got a cool hat too that I'm wearing right now that you guys can't see, but I posted a picture and I sent it to Bree. So yeah, yeah. I'll ha- I, I have a keepsake that we will share with everyone. <laughs> so now, now that you know the story, the true origin of behind that little toy figurine and mask, are you going to take oh. it away or? <laughs> yeah, I'm t- no. definitely, I'm definitely taking it away. <laughs> you know what? You, my, you, dude, you're not watching this yet. You're 13 months old. You can't watch this. There's too much violence. There's there's uh, big chested duck females running yeah. around. What? Okay. <laughs> to... The third episode, Draconis brings in a lady duck. The, to the pretty because there's already two lady ducks, but they're not. Yeah. They're insignificant hey. because they're not the sexy. Yeah, lady. And they, they made that abundantly clear from the yes. very first episode. Oh my gosh! They're like so oh, clear. Like one is just like a. Oh, she's just a mechanic. No one's going to even think that she's pretty because she knows about machines. And they gave her a lisp as well. They, they gave her a lisp in a horrible, like, New York, New Jersey accent. <laughs> and it really bothered me because it wasn't I, any. It wasn't either of the two. Right, <laughs> yeah, no. I think her name's Wanda or something. Yeah, hey, yeah, then, Wanda. She got the weird thing with the voice. And she's like, <laughs> I, I'm just going to an electric Mallory. world. Like, That's how she sounds. Like, I'm just going to electric. I don't even know what it is. It's weird. <laughs> Mallory for a duck, like guys, you can you can think outside the box. They didn't with bit. her. They're like, no, <laughs> Mallory, a mallard. Maybe that's the play on it, mallard. Yes. Yeah, mallard. yeah. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what? And a mall- and it's and it's wrong because a mallard is a male duck. It's true. Well, yeah, well, but no, it's not even. It's not even Mallory is close to mal to mallard. Her name is Mallory McMallard. Oh, oh my I didn't God. know the last name. <laughs> these I, parents, these duck parents are horrible. Her, oh, her dad was Ed McMahon Mallard. Ed McMallard. He was a side. He was a sidekick on a very famous Buck World late night talk show. <laughs> Welcome to Buck World. I'll say. <laughs> Vanessa, sorry guys, that's a back- dated reference. That's even ten years to my senior. I apologize. <laughs> I know Ed McMahon because of. Publisher Clearing House? Yes, yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Right. That's it. With yeah. the big that's checks. <laughs> I know he was in something else before that. <laughs> but Brad Garrett is also voiced in this. I know. He's everywhere. I can't escape him anymore. His voice is so distinct. Who's Brad Garrett? I, I was he's like, that big one, one grin. Oh, grin? yeah. The, 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 the Zen guy. Yeah, oh. he's like karma and stuff like that. And I'm like, you guys have karma? Wait, if, is that nose dive? If a rock dive? that cannot bend, it must be broken. <laughs> and there's so many characters, but you know they just have all those characters because they needed enough ducks to make a team. Well, yeah. Yes. Well, you have to have six. You have to have five on the ice and a goalie. Mm-hmm. So it has to be that. So that's why Kincaid had to go because who would be seven? Who would be sitting on the bench? The kid who would probably be the kid. What's but his also, name? But also nose like, dive. So nose much- dive. Yeah, nose, nose dive. What who a was piece so of crap annoying? That guy is. <laughs> oh my god, he was the worst. He but- was so nineties. Well, like- yeah. Yes, he, he said- could have been Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in a similar vibe. 
Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Aww. For sure. They did. They missed the casting on that, but they, they could have fixed it. <laughs> He's like the Shaggy of the group. <laughs> he broke the fourth wall a lot. Yes, he did. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's we're like, gonna be fighting like this the entire episode. Yeah, like, and he's oh, like, oh yeah, you actually you did do that the entire episode, you moron. Oh, I know. And then like him and the jewel thief fighting over the one girl the that whole was, time. Yeah. It was it was such a long drawn out thing. I'm like, I get it. You like her. Move Those on. Those are some horny ducks. A horny There's ducks. Just, <laughs> corkscrew <laughs> is corkscrew horny ducks. Oh. oh. Oh, and then know, the manager not, wanted to get well, her maybe bikini that's not deals. Is that, is, that, is that a dolphin? Am I getting this all confused? No, no, no. Oh, no, no absolutely no, I'm right. correct. I'm right. okay. Absolutely. I You're right. absolutely correct. Okay. Because once once you learn oh. that fact, you can't unlearn it's, it. Yeah, you can't unlearn <laughs> yeah, it. <that's> true. <laughs> you can't unlearn it. <laughs> no, but like the manager wanted to get that duck bikini deals. Yeah, wanna, that. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I was like, really? Oh, gosh. It's just all yeah. a little creepy for a yeah. kid's show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I was watching with the subtitles because I can't hear sometimes. <laughs> and the subtitles do not match what they're saying at all. Whoever did them did not watch the <laughs> show. <laughs> they were they're like, like, what am nobody's I watching? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Bree? Oh, they're like, you know, what am I watching? And they're just getting lost in it. And they're just writing babble. Yeah, they're like, nobody's going to actually use these because nobody's going to watch this. It's 1996. They're like, oh, what do you mean? They don't have, uh, they can't do auto dictate on this? Oh, f- it. I'll just write whatever. <laughs> maybe maybe it was their way of trying to make it a little better. <laughs> they were re- they were doing rewrites. Go, this is a much better version. <laughs> uh, I still don't funny. understand the dragon dinosaurs people. Okay, so I have a theory. Oh, there's theories? Art- yeah, well, no, my personal oh. theory. Birds are descendant of dinosaurs. So there's something there. Like the connection between them. Sure, sure. <laughs> Just go with sure. it, guys. No, go no. with it. Well, I mean, there's nothing really else to go off of. No, there isn't. What if you were a duck on Puck World that didn't like hockey? Did they, like, kick you off? The planet. No, yeah, you just had to be an appreciator. You had to be in the stands. Oh, but if you didn't like it, then I guess you could be a uh, selling hot dogs, <laughs> franks, popcorn, <laughs> jelly beans. Jelly beans. I yeah, ducks love jelly beans. You never know. <laughs> they love jelly beans, and they love when you leave Alka Seltzer and they eat it and then they explode. Oh no, <laughs> it's terrible. I we never, I never did that. That's just a joke. Why didn't Draconis do that? That would have solved all his problems. That's right. <laughs> Tim Curry, you failed on that one. Oh no, he didn't. He tried to blow them up. He was like, "Oh, we're just gonna go back to our world." And they're like, oh, yeah, totally, because what else can we do? We're just honest ducks, and we believe everybody, even though we got bamboozled three times in the last 22 <laughs> yeah. minutes. It's very true. Oh, yeah, that was that made me mad, too, when they were standing there, and I think the uh, whichever the the sexy duck or whatever was. Decoy was like, or whatever her name is. Yeah, was just like, no, no, let's go through the storage unit. They won't be watching that. And uh, Wild Wing, I guess, is like, that doesn't make any sense. And he's like, yeah. but okay. They're all walking, they're all walking in being <laughs> like, I'm not sure this is a good idea. This seems kind of fishy. I'm not sure about, whoa, trap door. Well, Mallory was the only one who was like, I'm suspicious of her. Well, it's usually how other, it is because the, you no, know. That's the, true. You, you know, I understand. I mean, with I'm this, not a lady, but I understand that like. With the corkscrew. Like, oh, geez, what's happening here? Well, Yeah. She's got the uh, the opposite of the corkscrew if it's all going to fit into play, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, the antithesis of corkscrew. Still, no. still a corkscrew still, shape, still. but... That's true. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, my. Yeah, you know, it's like when you, you plug your headphones into the computer. There's a female and a male. It's just it all works. It's but, like a but that's puzzle like, piece. It's so stereotypical to have, like, all the women be weary of the other woman you yes, know it's completely sexist and fucked up yes <laughs> oh yeah no there was sexism galore oh, in that third gosh. episode for sure yes <laughs> they act Amen. like they never saw a woman duck before yeah, well, they have, oh, or like they actually like just didn't know any you know either 
either of the the two female ducks on their team because the other one at the end is all dressed up to go to the mall and they're like, oh my right. gosh, she's, and that's she's the so button. hot. And that's the yeah. button of the episode. Yes. <laughs> at the very end, they're like, oh shit, we didn't even realize you are hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. Anybody want to come with me? Uh, no, we're just going to go and, uh, you know, play some pool or maybe watch a movie, read a book. I don't know. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. It, it was very like, oh, what's that stupid movie? With with the bet, and they're like, "Oh, we can turn this ugly she's girl into she's all that." Yeah, she's, she's all, all that. that. It's very that, she's all that move that they did. It's Amanda Bynes, right? Um, no, Rachel, Rachel Lee Cook, Ra- Prince Jr. Rachel oh, Lee right. Cook. Right. Sorry, yes, yeah. yes. I have so much '90s and early 2000s <laughs> movie knowledge. She's she's the man was Amanda Bynes. Oh, yes, that's, that's right. It. That's right. The race of rep- reptiles or reptiles, dragon like leader. They're all the same. It is dragon-like then. Yeah, they're all the same species. No. All the minions and stuff. Really? I, yeah. <laughs> so They look so different. Jeez. Again, that one looks like Skeletor, but as a dragon who has magic. What type of magic? Do we who ever find? A, who's in a bad mood. Like, that was my favorite part <laughs> about him was that like... He'd just get upset and he'd blow up the robots and just be like, uh, I'm having a bad day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I, sorry. Well, he I'm, doesn't like technology. He's grumpy. He's like technology. He's like, you know, the old one who's like, I don't know how to make this work. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I, just, I just love that. Sorry. I was looking. I was just looking up pictures of, of them because I wanted to see them. But it's like Lord Dragonus is the main antagonist of the Disney TV series Mighty Ducks. He's the tyrannical leader of Sar- Sar- uh, the Saurians, bent on taking over Puck World and Earth at all costs. He was voiced by Tim Curry, who has also portrayed Pennywise in It, among other villains. <laughs> I like how they, they stack right? them up next to each other. Like right? That. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Guys, there's an episode where three of the ducks get captured and it's like they're on an island like and a, a duck German hunt? hunter is trying to kill them. What? Uh, what is that? The greatest... The, gr- I mean, the great... It, it fits, I, I know it what fits you're talking the about. profile of so many Disney movies that are, you know, uh, <laughs> Aryan-based <laughs> and full of Nazi fascist euphemisms. Yeah, you know, Most Dangerous are... Game. Yeah, Most Dangerous, dangerous game, game, that yeah. book. Yeah. I was like, What? Okay, can we just talk about the mask? What, the one that that he can see invisible people and robots with? I see dead people. Well, also living people. (laughs) And I see x-ray vision. And I also see all sorts of energy. (laughs) And I also see when things are cloaked. And I also see, is it just an omnipotent mask? It seems that that, that, that's what it is. Yeah, it has to be because I I, I kept getting so confused. I'm like, wait, what? What is the exact magical power that this thing has? Who knows? It's a mask of Duke Duquesne. It right. was myth mythical, and I just like he was fighting. Wild Wing was, and he's like, "Oh, he went invisible," and I'm like, "You got your freaking mask! It took you way too long to get beat up to realize you had it." Well, because he didn't well, want to wear it because he he thought he wasn't the true leader. It's, right, yeah, it seems like he didn't thing. want to wear it. And I'm like, dude, you have a very powerful magic mask. Use it. Dude, your leader sacrificed his life and said you're next up in line. Gotta step up. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta create that wing <laughs> formation, like- right? Oh. You're welcome. There was no flying V, though, so I was uh, No, there I, wasn't. Was fine with me. It's surprising Can we talk about their ship? It. Which is just a giant duck space. <laughs> oh, I know. It doesn't give you any cover. Like, you can't disguise that. Yeah. No, but I guess, I mean, it makes sense. You know, it's, it's, it's a, a duck face could work well as a spaceship, you know? You like know what would work better, though? It gets prob- smaller and, and, and slender at the, at the peak, at the, <laughs> at the, at the beak. I mean, excuse me, the peak, the beak. And then, you know, it gets big up top and there's a couple levels and then it kind of flares out of the side because they're hockey and they have right. mullets. So like the hair kind of like, <laughs> you know, I get it. <laughs> I was just thinking that it would be a lot easier and potentially more efficient if it was a puck shaped. But that is that just they don't want to go. That That's like that's, <laughs> that's like, like taking UFO it too round. far to the alien. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, OK. So so they that's can like, they can be called. It's almost like saying like, oh, these 
fucking ducks came off a of Skinwalker Ranch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do. I wrote down this line, and I don't know why. But does anyone remember when they said, "Saw this on Better Homes and Super Villains"? Oh yes, I did see that. I do remember that. There's also another good fourth wall that that I wish I could remember. That is it a, nosedive saying who would watch a show about TV ducks? Yes. No, it was, oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> no, but he says something that's like like making light of like the sexist comments that are going on in the third episode, where he's just like, "You never thought you'd see that on a kids' cartoon." Oh, oh yeah, I remember oh, that too. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, you should learn not to trust women or something oh, yeah. like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, oh my god! All these kids are watching the shows. So maybe, bad. maybe she they sucks. figure dads would watch this because it was like a hockey show, so they wanted to make Ooh. something for the dad. Oh god, I don't know. As a father, how do you feel about that, Danny? <laughs> I, I don't feel good about it. <laughs> you feel a little dirty, don't you? Yeah, it feels like I want to sneak into his room and even at the cost of waking him up to get rid of that thing that's in his bedroom because it's bad. It's bad juju, man. <laughs> oh, also. Remember when the manager was like, oh, I should have, like, he was like, wombats would be easier to train than ducks? And I was like, how does he know? Like, if yeah. wombats and are easier. That, that's, that's, that's inherently racist, <laughs> I would think. That that's a racist so. comment. Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak for all ducks everywhere, but if a, if a duck heard that only a wombat could do its job, it would probably be pissed off. It would yeah. say, that's racist, man. Yeah, and then it leads the- me to believe, like, is there a universe that's, like, just a wombat planet? There's infinite dimensions. So there's just infinite. Okay. But I have to I have to imagine now that hockey is in all of them. No, Is or is not? Is in all of them. Then that one Canadian got around. <laughs> yes. I mean, once you, once you learn how to travel inter, you know, interdimensionally, then, I mean, what's stopping you? I guess so, but that, even as I'm saying this now, I'm like, how can one person teach everybody hockey? Like, you need a team to show them how to play hockey. Hmm. You need at least six people. To <laughs> so show that people. means <laughs> that means from the first movie, they, maybe they're the ones who went into the universe to teach everyone. No, we're not. Mind we're not blo- going to go no, with no, that theory. I, I stopped because my mind was blown. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, is that too much going into it? <laughs> I just love how, like, every human that like comes in contact with them, they have one line: "Oh my god, they're ducks!" and then they just act like they're normal. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. It took. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, specifically the. Uh, Jim Belushi's character, it took them a minute to be like, oh, she's a duck, but she's got tits and she's hot. Oh, man, we got to make her, we got to make money off of her. Yeah, and it was like. You couldn't take an extra second to be like, there's another one? No, no, he wanted to get her into Playboy from the sounds of it. That is troubling. It's like not even ask her or anything. Whole thing was troubling. I mean, like. The whole dialogue was centered around how pretty she was or just that they wanted to get with her, really. And there was no <laughs> – now they're talking and then they're like, okay, let's let's go steal this thing. And I'm like, what? It, it, yeah. Oh, would you guys be surprised that this is one of the last cartoons that was featured on the Disney afternoon lineup? <laughs> As in uh... it shut the whole network down? <laughs> or what? <laughs> I mean – there isn't like actual proof that this is the cause, but there's not proof that the, it that there isn't. isn't. <laughs> Look, this Scrooge McDuck is getting old, and you know we kind of really like the tenacity of uh, the other guy from Ducktales, the the cool guy who kind of looks like, uh, um, fuck. Yeah. What, I, thought I, had I thought I had something really good. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. This isn't connected to the DuckTales or the Darkwing Duck universe at all. I know it's not, but it just it is exact like it it fits in perfectly. You know, I know. For, for a company that's sitting around a mouse, they really do like their ducks. You have a lot of ducks. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, you know, Donald and Daffy requested they have friends. <laughs> yeah, they and, got tired of each other. 
They were like, true. you know, we have to have friends <laughs> that are just like us and nope, not like anybody else. If I was like, so was this released after the first movie, Candace Expert? Yes, it, this, ha- it had to be. The first movie was in 93. Okay. Yeah, so, so then this was in 1996, I believe. So from you watching, having watched the show, and then did you ever watch the sequels to the first movie? You talking to me? Candace. Okay. Yeah. You did. Did you expect there to be dinosaurs and aliens in that one? No, but I don't know. As a kid, I was just like... I don't know. It was Disney. I fed it. I ate everything they fed me. <laughs> okay. Because like, if, um, I would probably be the stupid kid going, wait, we're the real talking ducks now. Right? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That's what, when they said Mighty Ducks TV show, I thought it was going to be Kids. based on the movie. So it was like, okay, I'm going to watch that. Well, that's how they and hook you. That's the whole point. Exactly. Danny, you could have yeah. been in another TV show. Look. With Jim Belushi. Yeah. And Tim where, Curry. You know, yeah, exactly. Instead, what was I doing in 96? Uh, Pete and Pete had ended. Maybe Figure It Out was going to start two okay. years before I did all that. Everything was Nickelodeon related. I said, fuck you to the <laughs> Disney rat. <laughs> That's what we call them. We call them the rat in our business. <laughs> Ooh, you're working for the rat. Gross. I just imagine the Disney and Nickelodeon like kids being like West Side Story, snapping around, being like, "Yeah, oh yeah, well, we are the Jets for sure." Yeah, Jets and oh, Sharks. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I guess maybe we, I don't want to be the Sharks. No, we were the Jets. <laughs> damn it. Okay. <laughs> when you're a Jet, you're a Jet. All the That's way. It. All the way. That's right. <laughs> oh gosh. Now not, I now I want to see that. Singing. I know. Me too. Me too. I would def- you definitely- guys can have another podcast about that, and I'll join you on that. Perfect. Too. Please, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know they made an animated version in the '90s that was nothing like the movie? I can't. Honestly, I didn't. I it was never- called West Side Story, but everyone it was about the West Side of Chicago. It was very confusing, <laughs> and you know what? They weren't even humans. It was just a bunch of Marmadukes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and they're not even native to Chicago. That's the weirdest part about it. <laughs> they they could have kept the sharks the sharks. So then in what Chicago, would the, be, the Jets would actually the Jets would actually be like drones, like hovering around. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, we need to make this happen. <laughs> Danny, you're in charge. Okay, I, I'll I'll EP the whole thing. It'll perfect. be great. It'll Seriously. Be great. I think whoever made this series just heard the two words, Mighty Ducks. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? They hadn't seen the movies, hadn't even heard of them. And they're like, alien ducks. I mean, they were mighty for ducks. You know, I couldn't really watch all of the credits because uh, the way that Disney Plus works is like the way that Hulu and Netflix and everything, they're Mm -hmm. like, oh, you're about to start the next one. So I couldn't look like, oh, to no. see if like they've like did they credit did they credit like Jordan Kerner did they credit Steve Brill as like creators of did they of want the to be Ducks? credited? Who knows? I mean, but I'm saying they've t- they took it so far off, <laughs> out, but they're still using the name. So right. <laughs> well, sorry. Well, now when I search the Mighty Ducks TV show, all that shows up is the new possible future Disney Plus one, which is definitely happening. This yeah, doesn't even I don't have a Rotten any Tomatoes as credited anywhere. Mm. Not even like an other. I wonder if they're like in Thank You or something. No, they they bought the. So what happened was clearly Disney bought the rights to everything. Yeah, and they're like we'll do whatever the hell we want. But, oh yeah, we're gonna turn the Mighty Ducks into an actual NHL franchise, but also we're gonna show the kids <laughs> that they're actual ducks. Which probably really screwed with kids who were like little and were like, Mommy, take me to Anaheim to go see the ducks. And then they go see like actual humans playing and they were like, What the hell is this? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Think about that. Yeah, probably very true. They're like, I wanted to see Mallory McMallard because, boy, I, you know, 
the rest of the guys don't think she's cute, but I got a crush on her. Oh, who is this guy? Oh, this is, it's all, it's all got, they're humans? What? Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, would... you see how much it screws with everybody. And be like, I expected you guys to fight crime on the side. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they had the title and they're like, maybe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they also play hockey for two minutes in each show. <laughs> and we really like Star Wars. Like, I mean, it really like it gave me that vibe of like, ooh, we're the resistance. Like, you know, yeah. the rebels. Like, it's, it's That's the whole, how Disney got it. The resistance. The whole thing. The resistance. Yeah. You're like, Disney, don't you know that you are the antithesis of the resistance? You, you are the corporate <laughs> baloney. That's anyway. Did you guys and, ever go to Disney Quest that was in Orlando, Florida, the downtown Disney area? Yes, and I played the Mighty Ducks Pinball Slam. You did. Okay, me too. I miss Disney Quest. It was... You know, I got two cents for every time you guys played that. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish you guys had played it more because I really got like a dollar seventy-five for the, <laughs> my entire tenure. It was just like a giant screen. Well, there is a long line. It was a line. pinball game. Yeah, but it was actually really fun. Well, only Wild Wing was was featured well yeah because he's the anaheim <laughs> he's the anaheim right. mascot but, no, but nobody knew, maker. nobody knew that he had a twin brother from buffalo and he started a franchise of chicken places <laughs> called buffalo wildlings <laughs> and he's making a lot of money a lot more than than wild wing who sold his rights 20 years ago to a team who doesn't make a lot of money <laughs> not a lot of people go to see them they haven't won Stanley Cups, and he's just sitting there being like, one of these days, I gotta get that Buffalo Wild Wings money, like my bro. So they don't yeah. serve duck at Buffalo Wild Wings, right? It's just just chicken. They should. I, I feel like that's a very fine line. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of related at the same time. <laughs> they only have duck foie gras. Ooh. Guys, there were two seasons of the show. Two? It was Tim Curry in both seasons? Yes, Tim Curry is in all this. Oh, poor Tim Curry. Oh, Tim Curry. <laughs> so some other episodes are the ducks raise a baby alien that turns into a terrible monster. What? Another one is an evil empire forces the ducks to play space hockey. <laughs> I played space hockey once and it was <laughs> terrible. Wait, there's the a thing? The was going everywhere. You couldn't keep it down. <laughs> what is, is Gravity is that... important for hockey. Wait, I'm confused. There's really space hockey? Oh wow! Wait, please tell me. Please tell me you're kidding. Please stop. I feel bad now. <laughs> no, because I thought it was like I could see some stupid person doing like one of those like indoor gravity things. Black light. Yeah, that's what I was Just, thinking, and I was like, yeah. wait, what? <laughs> Another episode is Lord Draconis brings dinosaurs back to life to attack the ducks. What? Oh no, I have to watch that one. I'm sorry. I don't... <laughs> that sounds amazing. Another one is Beatnik villains need a new engine for the evil machine. What? Beatniks? Wait, Yo, yeah, be the be beatniks, beatniks are so scary because they just want to fuck everybody and they want to read poetry and smoke cigarettes. Uh, this, beatniks this was a very 90s thing as we have has, we have kind of learned from re-watching <laughs> um, a lot of these things. <laughs> What is the, the sexy Made popular by So I Married an Axe Murderer by that's oh, uh, Duke Mike Myers stop. doing all this like beatnik shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, st I'll stop now. <laughs> Another episode was Duke must stop a former rival from stealing the world's largest jewel. I thought you said Duke Mustafa and I'm like now they're merging <laughs> another franchise <laughs> and I'm <laughs> so confused. Very confused. Okay, so, yeah, Stanley is a father. You would not suggest this for your child, right? No, no, no. Uh, maybe at some point, but, like, you know, there's... It's there's that, others. It's that mid-90s, like, weird, like, they're like, ooh, we can say some suggestive stuff, but under the guise that it's still Disney. Mm. You know, it's the same way when you're like, oh, is... Did somebody actually draw a penis in The Little Mermaid and we only see it for a frame? Like, is, is that what was going on here, too? Maybe. Yeah, but this, is, the more, only, this is more over. Am I the only one? Is, um, yes, it's way more over. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm just making sure I'm not the only one that heard that conspiracy theory. No, no, that's absolutely. I thought it was. It's on a VHS cover. Yeah, it is. Hmm. 
I think I own that VHS. So do I. Or my, my mom, you, technically. People it. say they never suspect those kind of people. I'm always like, well, you know, animators, comic book creators, illustrators, they're hyper Something. sensationalizing everything. Something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, whether it be a sharp jawline or large boobs or dicks, boobs. duck breasts. Dicks or, yes, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say duck's like, boobs. Why, <laughs> duck breasts. Mm-hmm. why do all of these characters have like. David Bowie cock pieces everywhere <laughs> from from Labyrinth. <laughs> you gotta hide the goodies, <laughs> but show it. But show the outline of all the goodies. Of course, yeah. How else are I? Don't want to say it. I'm the well, one Candace. Go there. After watching it again, and <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> Guys, it it doesn't hold up. It yeah, doesn't I was hold just up. say like after loving it as a child and watching it now, what are your thought? Would you recommend it? <laughs> No. I thought it was like, oh, it has lore. <laughs> like it has lore. I thought this was intelligent, guys. <laughs> I was a dumb child sometimes. Well, the only, like, interesting, I, I think, aspect is when they were, like, the Lucretia Decoy, the sexy duck. And they're like, oh, she was the, the reason why half the duck resistance got wiped out. And I was like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. For her. Yeah, like, talk more about that. Show that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. It's like, oh, wow. How do you want to think about that in real time? It's like, oh, it's like Kellyanne Conway. I right. don't get it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Kellyanne Conway. Right, right, right. She said a bunch of lies and got a lot of people killed. Yeah. And I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to throw that in there. No big deal. <laughs> None. <laughs> But, so, like, that's also, oh the wait, you know what? The the only thing the, the my my personal takeaway, like everything, like the storylines crap and everything is kind of crappy. But I love that, like for 1996, like any of like the broad general shots of like their lair or like things happening is like totally like computer generated, like AI at the time. Like it's like yeah. ooh in the time, like ooh wow, oh. that's like shiny and like kind of looks cool and almost three dimensional. Oh yeah, it still kid. looks crappy. <laughs> as a kid, you eat that stuff up. You're like, yeah, it's like totally. Toy Story. Totally. Yeah, and like how they hid Draconis's ship into a work building. That was God. I was on the edge of my seat that I I bit some of my nails and I got a hangnail and I ripped it and I started bleeding out of my index finger. That's how intense that was for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna probably. It's probably gonna bother me for the next couple of days while I play bass. Oh, no. suck, and you will. You will always. Ball. And you will remember it for those days. I will. I will. And because there's a shortage of hydrogen peroxide, I don't know if it'll ever be really clean. <laughs> You're welcome, Danny. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, actually, I know that there's no pay in this podcast, but if anyone has extra hydrogen peroxide and you can send it to me, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Please help Danny out. <laughs> Brooklyn has got a shortage of, uh, of hydrogen peroxide. I'll keep, keep that in mind. I think, we, I think we just spent like 50 bucks on like a pack of Clorox wipes. So like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what you should put on a wound. I'll t- <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing to put on the wound. No, no. Either, I'm just I mean, saying I will keep good. my eye out. It's just that oh, it's probably cool. going to be, yeah, it'll be, no, it'll, no, be no, expensive, it'll be expensive, but I will do yeah. it. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I feel you. I'll see if Target has any in. <laughs> I mean, if you want to torture yourself through this quarantine more, I would recommend this show. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the I, whole series. I contemplated watching the fourth episode just because me it's too. a zap attack. Me too. Like, oh, okay. I, it's probably going to suck me in. It almost got you. It almost got you. It almost got me. And then I was like, you know what? My son sleeps for maybe an hour to an hour and a half twice a day and i need that time to, to say is this for really myself. is this really what you want to do i need with your that time? time for myself i mean tell you between yesterday and today those 66 minutes were very precious and i and i did it for you guys oh thank you we, <laughs> yeah we really, we really appreciate it, it. <laughs> so danny and brie can you tell us about the show you guys worked on together yeah do you want to do you want to talk about it danny wait did we work on a show together we did we did Yes, we did. We did. Uh, <laughs> the, t- the tone of the tone of our five is a is a really cool show, and I hope that it gets to see the light of day at some point soon. Yeah, we're still in editing. 
Still editing, getting it together. I mean, I was terrible in it. So no. I'm sure the editing has to take a lot more time. No, like, you oh, were. Danny screwed up. You, <laughs> it's like it's like one of those YouTube tutorial videos. It's just like constantly cut up like 75 times in 30 seconds. <laughs> no, Danny's really good in it. Um, he plays uh, a fun, fun character named Remarkable Randy. And um, yeah, no, I can't wait for people to see it. Um, Lori Beth is also in it. And you guys are amazing together. Oh, she's one of my favorite people in the whole world. Lori Beth is like, she's up there. She's actually the only person that stayed in my, we moved from the fourth floor to the first floor of my apartment building from a one bedroom to a three bedroom when I had the baby. And well, I had the baby. Of course I did. <laughs> God, that is such a, when I had the baby. <laughs> She got to stay in our new apartment that has a nice like guest room and everything and it was a, it was very special. She was hung out with the baby and stuff and then the coronavirus happened and no one's been here since in six months and we have this big open space that's now become the uh, kids room, you know? Oh, nice. And just all the toys, everything in there. I have all my guitars and all the things I use to record music and it's, I don't use any of it now. It's all for him. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no. Especially that wild wing that. action figure. But yes, they do. They do, yeah, except that wild wing action figure, exactly. <laughs> no, but Lori Beth is one of my oldest friends, and she's she's so funny and excellent, and she she got me on the show. I'm just saying, it was I didn't audition for it or anything. She was like, ooh, I know someone who'd be great. Well, it's so funny. We were at a- Which is very nice. We, we went to her house for a read-through, like, you know, of just- one of the rough drafts that, you know, we had written. And when we got to uh, the part of um, the piano, Danny knows what I'm talking about. No one else will. Um, <laughs> you know, she's like, you know who would be great at this is Danny. And, you know, there's three of us who wrote the show and we were like, yes, absolutely. We were, you had, well, I lo- you were on I our love mind. that scene. That scene is a good scene and there's some good physical comedy that goes into that. And yeah. I- I'm all about it. Yeah. So. We, we actually did write you in mind for it. And then Lori Beth just made it happen. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't she's know that? Been, yeah. No, she's been touting it that it was all her idea. <laughs> it's funny because I keep having to give her like a, you know, a, a tribute every month just to be like, I know, I know. Thank you so much. Yes. Well, now you, now you know the truth. Well, we subcom- we, we didn't tell her. It, she did come up with that on her own, but. I think we did write it like with you in mind. Well, that makes my heart very happy. Oh, yes, God, obviously, you were meant. You well. were meant. You were meant for this role. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it was look, faded. Look, because look at where we are right now, talking about some <laughs> fucking <laughs> shitty Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, also, do you want to plug your podcast? Oh yeah, yeah. You guys, uh, the uh, Michael Morona and I, who were Pete and Pete, you know. We we don't talk about who was the first Pete, who was the second Pete. <laughs> Some people say it's who was cooler. Some people say it's like, you know, it's age order and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we do a podcast called The Adventures of Danny and Mike. Um, we have comedian guests, musician guests, and sometimes we just shoot the shit on our own. And it's very casual. We talk about whatever's on our minds, you know, and maybe next week we'll be talking about uh, this animated series that I watched. <laughs> for a day and a half and stole <laughs> stole my time for my life stole all your time <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> you know what though if if we had to sit through it i'm glad you you got to as well no i think it was great i think it was great and i'm i'm sorry that i uh i didn't under i didn't get the memo yes for the listener we were supposed to do this yesterday and uh my dumb ass didn't watch the show or the movie <laughs> and then I didn't think about it, and I was like, oh, we got to, I'm just trying to figure out how I can get on and be there at the right time to, oh, let me just, I'll just text, Bri- oh, Bree sent a text, oh, do I have fa- Disney, pl- no, oh, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't going to call like, you out, you Danny. Know, <laughs> it's okay, I'll call myself out, it's, I'm playing the M&M game right now, it's fine. Well, yeah, we really appreciate it, and now we can all erase it from our minds like it never. I don't happens. think it will. <laughs> this will never yeah, be gone like, from my mind. I, I think that Draconis and is still gonna haunt me every time you hear Tim Curry's yeah. voice now. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Sorry. Draconis is like makes me feel like I've got a sore throat, like coronavirus. <laughs> like the Draconis virus. Wow. Draconis Great. virus. 
Eighty five percent of you will be fine, but fifteen percent of you, Draconis is gonna fuck you up. And then you'll be wild winging it for the rest of your oh, life. Oh no. Gosh. Let's roast them. Let's oh god. Duck there, roast? Duck roast. There was a couple there were a couple There's, really bad puns. I mean my my mother very punny person. Always driven me crazy my whole life. Are you gonna save some for your dad jokes? Oh, I mean, well, that's and that's the thing now. It's like the dad jokes are coming; they're coming hard. <laughs> and there's no, I mean, I, the, to be quite honest, my friends have been calling me dad for years, but it's for other reasons. Like, I had a car, a big car, and so we'd go to like fish concerts or go to any concert or do anything. I was always the one driving and doing things. The dad so always called me dad. Yeah. Maybe I. Maybe I doled out some marijuana. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't remember. Who knows? <laughs> for legal way, purposes, like, we don't yeah, know. For legal purposes, we don't we don't know. But they were like, "Hey, Dad, can I have my allowance?" And I'm like, "Yeah, here's your allowance. Kid. Get out of here. Go on. Make sure you save a make sure you save a little allowance for me for later, would you? <laughs> you mean a few dollars, right? Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, yeah. green, green, whatever. Yeah. It's green. It's just all call green. it Wild Wing now. <laughs> Hey man, yo, pass the wild wing, would you? <laughs> gonna do a nose dive into my allowance thing. I'm gonna do a nose dive into my. That sounds like uh, yeah, that sounds another like a one. Little bit more. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's like something a little more um, serious. It's a step a step up from step up from the green I'm talking about. <laughs> Bree, can you tell people how to find us? Yeah, of course. Um, just head over to the geeky and you'll check out our blog and all of our podcasts. And then also make sure to find us on Twitter and Instagram. And then we also have a Facebook community group called the Geeky Waffles. Wow, Wild Wing means so many weird <laughs> things to me now. In the last 48 hours, 24 hours, it's all screwed up. It's your world before the animated series and now after. I'm going to send you a picture of me like burying it in the front yard. <laughs> And Just then, like, like setting it on fire. <laughs> yeah, and then two weeks later, it's back in my kid's <laughs> front room. Like, oh, so God. And it's, like, looking at you angrily. Oh, no. It knows exactly. what you did. Oh, the yeah, haunted, no, then it becomes, thing. it looks like Duck LaRange, and it's got, like, a little, like, chip out of its beak. <laughs> Don't talk about this stuff so close to bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we talk about his little <laughs> chip out of his beak, though? Yeah, the chip out of his beak is like, oh, he's such a tough guy. And he's like, yeah, get, get over it. Oh, I'm in my prime of my life. He must be older than what He was like 50 dive. then, right? Because that's what I was thinking. I was like, he's like the, the Sean Connery of ducks. Well, duck <laughs> duck years are a little different than human years. 50 is probably like 75. The so. Sean Connery of ducks. Right? That's what I was thinking the whole time. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you ever see the movie Entrapment? <laughs> Oh, that's what it hey, seemed like with the Catherine bikini duck lady. That. It was entrapment. That's yeah. the whole thing. And the nosedive, that was just like his history teacher or something. That's a that's a scene they missed from the <laughs> from the animated series is is nosedive trying to get through like a bunch of like, you know, laser security <laughs> trying to get the Well they'll, they'll see uh, that in the tone of Pop Five, Danny. Oh yes! Oh, that's right! Oh, beautiful, beautiful foreshadowing. Full, full circle. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah. Well, thank you all for talking about this insane movie slash TV show. Thank you for bringing it to my attention twenty four years later in my life when I cared about the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> no, no, no! It's okay. Well, now we can we all be haunted you- together. Yes. yes, we all suffer together. We want to wish you all a happily ever after until the sequel. <laughs>